I have two categories of black legisms or black legs in the diaspora. We have black legs in the diaspora that are in constant communication. They pretend to be part of the revolution and they're in constant communication with La Republic leaking all the plans that we have. And then before you know it, our plans are aborted because of the fact that these people are here leaking information. Then the second class of uh, black legism are Ambazonians who are so indifferent they call this revolution Dawuna thing. They have no urge to contribute. They come up with all sorts of flimsy excuses. Oh, I am not contributing because so and so person embezzled money, so and so person did this, that, 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 and so forth and so on. They have all sorts of flimsy excuses. And you see them in beer parlors buying VIP tables for thousands of dollars or euro just to enjoy themselves. And they are making no contribution to this revolution. And this is what we can do to these people. We know them. Mark, you are there, you know about black legs are around you. Do you know about their investments things that they are doing at home? They all do this and try to hide behind all the sort of things not to contribute so that they are not out there in the picture. And then to travel and go to La Republic every time they want to. And go to even to ambassador every time they go want to. And then when they come back to the diaspora, they talk to us. Oh, I went. What happened to me? Nothing happened to me. Let, we know these people. We need to personally investigate them and put down all the investments they are making. That when we put down those investments, they will know that we are very serious. And I, I, I hate to say this, Chris. We have two percent of Ambazonians sponsoring this revolution. That is why when you go for any fundraising, you see the same people contributing yeah. every now and then. Where, where do we? Where, where are they? I mean, where is that population that constitutes the 98% of Amazonians who are not contributing a dime to this revolution? And if you do the math, if we have only 20% of Amazonians contribute to this revolution, you said something here in the beginning. We need 1,000 people to contribute $200 for an effective takeoff for things to happen on the ground. 1,000 out of 8 million people. That is a very minimal population of Amazonians. And we are not even able to grab that. We don't even have up to 200 people who have donated, contributed $200. So you can see that from this analysis, you see the number of Amazonians that are supporting this revolution, just 2% on the high side. And this is terrible for our revolution. And we are able to take this revolution up to this level for five years with 2% support. Then if we increase it to 20%, just imagine what we are going to have. We have a lot of diasporans who are sitting down and doing nothing. They are not contributing in every any form for this revolution. They call it down or nothing. That is a statement that I hate to hear. And I've had, I've been involved in a lot of arguments in places. I was uh, somewhere in Arizona two weeks, uh, uh, two days ago. I met a very huge population of Amazonians. And somebody introduced me to one of these gentlemen. I said, oh, he's the president of our, our Cameroon, all Cameroonians in uh, Arizona. I said, oh, really? He said, yes. I met him. I greeted him. I said, how are you doing? Yeah, I spoke with him. And he made, I understood he was an Amazonian. I asked him a question. Do you support the Amazonian struggle? He said, uh, no, uh, because of my, by virtue of my position as the president of all Cameroonians in Phoenix or Arizona, I do not want to take sides on this issue. Yeah. I said, so you are a leader of Cameroonians, and you are an Ambazonian, and you don't support Ambazonia? I said, this is despicable. He even invited me to a drink. I said, no, for a drink. I said, no, I can't take, because I consider you a black leg. So those are the categories of black legs we have, and those are the solutions that we can actually, uh, actually undertake in order to make the teach them a lesson, so that they can come, recourse, and join the revolution. Thank I you. hope, I hope we really can get them in.